I mean, like, have you seen the designs of what was going on back then? And Bruh. boy, it was something. <laughs> The 90s was a game-changing decade in animation for TV, with numerous titles we herald as classics and names attached synonymous as legends. And in this, we focus on the X-Men. Adapting the later runs from its iconic relaunch, the X-Men made its mark introducing us to iconic Marvel characters that we would associate first with the brand. For five years, the series concluded with a pretty open end and only followed for film series and two following shows. And they announced the return. Now, I'm not gonna overly dwell with the details and cut to the focus. Disney dropped two episodes of the continuation series, but most as a sequel series on its own rather than a new season. It could be interpreted as such, but underway, it is something. I, I was pretty open to the new animation style, all thanks to Studio Mer. Though I think the presentation of the series feels a bit clean compared to the previous series. But then again, since the older series wasn't remastered and most of us watched the series on LCD screens with filters and sometimes handheld on our phones. But other than that, a huge emphasis on action with creative direction in the fights and how characters maneuver such as Cyclops' traversal and that epic attack Stormforge. We are in for a treat as the story does a fine job reintroducing us to our favorite muties in a 22 minute span and a world that still harbors reservations again. Maybe a little, maybe a bit too dramatic in presentation and the voices are getting immaculated to our times with new and returning voices alike. I just hope since it's geared towards the older audiences and mature, it doesn't go all gratuitous with it. Anyway, I'm glad the story is moving on and we're getting some more focus and depth with the series. Especially what the second episode brought in. The belligerent bigotry of the protesters, Spurn and the trial of Magneto, and in a deep sense of consequences, it really makes you feel for him heavily while working to honor Professor X's dream and the toll it took on Storm based on the climactic moment. I know in a more status quo sort of manner, you'll expect things to revert, but we're in for the long haul. But my impressions leave me more to what's to come. For the moment, I am digging this despite its rocky start. I am hoping down the line they'll feel more naturalistic when more episodes drop. Whether you like this or not is completely up in the air. But for now, I'm pretty elated that Marvel Animation is returning in full swing. Moon Girl and Hitmonkey alone can't carry the burden of being a good Marvel cartoons after the Loeb era of mediocrity that plagued the previous decade after Earth's Mightiest Heroes. If anything, if 97 was under that era, there would be no returning VAs and even more middling with flat art direction and the opening will just be the logo and some cheap variation of the theme. So no thanks. Hmm. Anyway, X-Men 97. 9 out of 10. I do hope to be surprised much further than that later on. But anyway, like, sub, and share, and until next time.